What is up, folks? This is Ask the Roots. I've got another new game to kick off to hopefully bolster this channel even further. So after getting done with Sonic the Hedgehog 2, now we have uh, Donkey Kong Country 2 that I'm going to do. And last summer, I did the first Donkey Kong Country, and now I'm going to do this one. So these, these are like a one-two punch right here. I actually feel like this game is probably better than the first one, but... Uh, I just felt like it'd be simple enough to kind of do, and pretty much I'm going to burn through this game. I'm not going to do 102% though, kind of like last time I'm just going to beat this game, and then I'm going to, I might eventually do the Lost World, but I'm, I'm going to at least gear up to the point where I'm going to get a lot of the bonus tokens. Or if I ever decide to come back to this game, I will. But once again, I mean, the thing that you have to realize at this point when you follow this channel is I'm not, like, a professional uh, gonna beat these games 100%. I mean, just seeing the ending should be sufficient for most parts. I mean, honestly, you can find other playthroughs, but it's more about, like, the commentary and the kind of vibes and the... the, the setting that is more important with these. So, well, this is a large game, so I still, I mean, the, the first Donkey Kong Country I was able to beat in 10 videos, but I estimate this one will probably be, you know, 15, 14, 13, probably more than 12, you know, something like that. It's, it's longer, but these are not going to be longer than 15 minutes, so it just kind of depends. But this game is also easier than the first one, I mean, I think they realized that the snow stage has pissed a lot of people off, so there's nothing that's as blinding as that stage in this. Maybe the Lost World has a few places like that that might piss you off, but for the most part it's, uh, it's easy. It's probably like with Super Mario World, that type stuff, so there you go. But yeah, so, I mean, this is pretty straightforward stuff. I mean, obviously at this stage you just kind of run around and jump on the enemies and you're good. But yeah, it, that's good stuff. I just I feel like I need another game to kind of piece out the channel. I've been able to beat a video game basically like every other month. Back in February, in December, I did Super Contra. In February, I did Turtles in Time, and in April, I did Sonic the Hedgehog 2. So this is like the new one. I'll probably beat this game like in June or something, and we'd be good with it. So, I don't know. I mean, it's not like I'm in a rush, because I don't know the relative success of this project, but we'll see. It's easy enough. I mean, at, at this stage, I've said it plenty of times in the Sonic playthrough, but it seems like the true pro of YouTube right now is just streaming. It seems like people just want a saga to kind of connect with folks. It's like, oh yeah, if I was in the 10th grade when I started watching you like four years ago, <laughs> That's just who I watch to, pl to play through these video games now, something like that. It wasn't like that back in 2012. You, you know, when I was in my 20s and stuff like that, you know, you just watch people and you could watch Super Mario World like 10 or 15 times. That's how it should be. You know, I think that's we need to bring that back. Cause I don't know what YouTube is evolving into, but I think it's devolving. That's kind of the thing. But, I mean, we could, I could spend this whole project talking about YouTube's, you know, lack of uh, accuracy these days. So, but. <sighs> yeah, so when I was younger, I didn't really collect the money in this game. Those are banana coins or banana tokens, and those will help you save the game, and be able to purchase information from some of the other characters and such. And, um, I don't really think I'll need it. I, I'm only, I mean, once you save the game more than once per world, they start charging you. I mean, they're not going to do it the first time, but, you know, as you realize that you die a bit and you need the extra help, uh, you're just going to have to know that, uh, it may not, you know, that you're going to be charged. So... Uh, this is kind of the thing. I mean, honestly, I don't suspect, you know, like like the first Donkey Kong Country, you're probably never going to encounter a world where there's, well, you're not going to, where there's more than five stages per world. And usually the save points shows up after, like, the third stage. So if you can at least make it to that, it's as simple as 
trying to do it, but this is obviously geared towards people from 1995 and that type of stuff, so this is the process to it, but... Those beetles keep kicking my ass for some reason, they're bastards. But yeah, they take two hits to down. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm going to try to get some of these bonuses just to kind of show some of them and what they're about and that sort of stuff. So. <sighs> and yeah, this is a, this is a two-player game, but uh, it's not consecutive. Like, I... I think honestly it would be nice to kind of get like a, a new version of this game. I mean, there was for the game, the Game Boy Advance, but uh, this is kind of if one of the characters gets hit in the co-op mode, then the other player plays, and that's how you play it in cooperative mode. And two-player contests, you know, you, you have two separate teams of monkeys that you compete with each other. The the player 2 team is purple, so it's a nice theme for them, but, uh, I don't know, I mean, this game brings a lot of nostalgia, but, uh, the whole thing about it is, is there's just never been any reinvention of this game, which is one of my biggest gripes about playing this, is I know this game pretty well, but the problem with it is, is once you've completed the game, there's just not much to go back to. I mean, it's a large game, and it definitely was back in the 90s, but now the more I think about it, it just is kind of... It's like, I mean, once you've completed this game enough times, there's really no reason. You are eventually supposed to move on and such. But, uh... You know, it's difficult just because I know the catchiness of this game just by the pirate theme and the more interesting worlds and the a visual appeal to some of this stuff, but, uh, you know, with the company behind this game, they don't make games for Nintendo and crap, so, the whole thing about it is, is, it's just, I mean, this is a one-shot kind of game, which sucks, you know, because I would like a sequel to this, I mean, the stuff that's out for, like, uh, the stuff that's out for, like, the Donkey Kong Country Returns, those type games, that this is kind of... <clears throat> I mean, I think they lack the pirate theme. I mean, the, the company Rare knew what they were doing. That's the thing. It was, it was fun to kind of get that sort of theme, just because the if they would have made a Donkey Kong Country 2 and it just would have been playing as Donkey Kong again and just different places, like maybe a graveyard and... Uh, you know, like a junkyard and those type places, you know, places that weren't in the first game. It probably wouldn't have been that much, but they, they knew that they wanted to, to really add a twist to it. That's what's good about it. And they did the same thing with Donkey Kong Country 3. I don't know if I'll do that game, is because I don't have as much history. I was able to beat that game as a rental back when I was back in the 90s, but I really, I mean, the game pisses me off. That's probably the one that pisses me off the most out of the three, just because there's always some sort of gimmick in the in the stages in Donkey Kong Country 3, and um, this is a uh, yeah, losing my train of thought, but huh. so. But yeah, so I did have fun with Blackthorn last year, though. I mean, that's a game that was a genuine kind of game and stuff. And I'm really trying to start looking past like the Super Nintendo just to be able to kind of field some more games. I mean, I thought about doing F Zero for the N64, but I'm just kind of running out just because I mean, there's not many PS1 games I'm able to beat. So, but I am going to also show this intro. In the first stage, you can get a secret message from the main villain. And, uh, it's one of the few times that there's text in the game in an actual stage. So, yeah, so. I didn't mean to do that. 
just trying to kind of think of other things that I want to do right now. I mean, once again, I'm probably going to burn through this game. It might not even take me until June to beat this game. I just would kind of have to say, uh, <clears throat> I mean, there's six worlds in this game, and by the end of this video, we'll basically be at the end of this world, so that goes to show. I mean, I might just be able to get this done, but that's kind of the thing. I mean, there is a lost world. I forgot, so there is a seventh world. I don't know. I mean, this is one of those games. You gotta be able to have fun with it, you know? Because this is like, like I said in the, if you're watching this through the playlist, I mean, I said in the playlist bio for this game that uh, this is one of the first games you should probably get for the Super Nintendo if you're new to it. I mean, obviously for folks who didn't grow up on this game or don't have a lot of history with Nintendo or something like that, I mean, this is one of the ones that you want to mess with. This and Zelda, and Donkey Kong, Killer Instinct, Mortal Kombat. Uh, you know, some of those type games. You know, Chrono Trigger, definitely. So there's there's plenty of them. I mean, that's just the thing. Is, uh, I mean, I don't, I don't like to sit there and, you know, X out creativity if you want to try something different. But that's kind of the thing. Is there's just so much. This is one that is feel better knowing about this game. So, Cobalt and I and the rest of the crew did a nice video yesterday. I had fun with it. We got the rest of his vaccine, so now I've gotten mine. I got my the, my, the rest of my vaccine last week, but now Cobalt got the rest of his, so... We're just kind of counting down the clock to be able to go places again. Cause I, I plan on occasionally doing videos in Walmart. You know, that was one thing I wanted to start doing back in 2019 and 2020, but because of coronavirus, I wasn't able to go anywhere. And of course, last year there wasn't any vaccine, so it was just like, you know, you were on your own in regards to your safety and crap. But now things are different, at least for the time being. I saw some article on Fauci that said he's too much of a pessimist. And I don't know. I don't know if Dr. Fauci, who, if you don't know from the United States, he's like the he's the leader of the the disease board that takes care of new and up upcoming diseases or whatever. But they say he's too much of a pessimist. Now, I, I, I wonder if they get that confused with just being a realist, because that's... I don't have a problem with pessimism if it's being real. I mean, if it's like, if you say, like, if you cross the street when cars are coming, something might happen, versus, they know oh, you'll be fine. I mean, it just kind of depends, you know? I'd rather have a realist in that sense, just so you don't have the off chance of something, but... I don't know. But I haven't watched the news in a, several days, so... It's kind of on... I'm like Batman right now, and I don't even care. <laughs> I mean, it's fun, you know, hitting up Jackal Gold Kick, and other than that, I'm just kind of doing my own thing. But I am hungry. I, I could stand to get some Arby's. I always say that, but I'm kind of hungry for some Arby's and shit. I don't have any donuts, which I need some donuts, and it's been really difficult for me to get a hold of Slim Jims. Like, every single time I try to get those from the online buying stuff, they, they're either not there, or the people can't get them, you know, so it's just, I don't know, I need Slim Jims. It's been a while since I've had them, like September of last year, or November of last year, or something like that. Just have another 30 seconds and then I'll see y'all in part two. Just stay tuned for that sort of stuff. We're just gonna have some fun with it. Seem to be missing when I throw projectiles at enemies, but. Um... Alright, so folks, subscribe for more fun. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful night.